ABC3 meteorologist Mike Brookins here with your forecast and we saw bitter cold again this morning down to at least minus three. This made the 25th time over the winter season below zero. The old record was 20 times and all of those 25, by the way, came after January 1st. Just amazing cold, especially in February and now spilling into the first week of March. Here we go on this Friday. Look for temperatures to not even get to our normal low. Normal lows in the lower 20s. 18 will be the high. We do get better temperatures for the weekend. Still chilly 30 and 33 by Sunday. Well, there's the low temperature at least. I haven't got the official word yet from the National Weather Service. Minus 3, minus 12 in Rome, almost minus 30 in Saranac Lake. That is almost dangerously cold. They had a clear sky most of the night. We had a few clouds that helped us from getting that cold. But we've got the deep snowpack, light winds, and any clear sky leads to what we had this morning. But some clear sky at times during the day means skies will become mostly sunny in a lot of areas. East of the lake, more in the way of clouds for today. So we'll average it out, a mix of sun and clouds, but over 20 degrees below normal for our high temperature. Mainly dry for tonight. There'll be a risk for some flurries up to the north late night. Not as frigid as clouds start to work on in. And close to 30 tomorrow with light snow developing. Yes, we have some accumulation in the forecast for the weekend. Here's our future cast, and we're not expecting any accumulation from the lake effect flurries that are out there. By now, they're east of Lake Ontario up in Oswego County, moving up to the north to Jefferson and then eventually northern Jefferson County, northeast of Lake Ontario with a southwesterly wind developing today. At least the wind's light, so the wind chill not a huge factor. But we'll break out in a good amount of sunshine from Syracuse south and southwest, much of the midday, afternoon, mostly sunny. So pretty nice looking sky if you're indoors looking out a window, but just appropriately with those temperatures only reaching the upper teens with a slight wind chill making it feel like single digits a lot of the day. Tonight partly cloudy, turning mostly cloudy. Late at night flurries move in east of Lake Ontario. It's not lake effect. That's part of a system that will be spreading snow through the rest of central New York during the afternoon. Flurries there with little accumulation. As we work through the afternoon, that's when we expect the flurries to increase to some periods of mainly light snow, meaning at times it's a moderate snow and by late afternoon after four o'clock, let's say through the evening, we'll start to accumulate the snowfall. Some periods of snow at night, Saturday night, Sunday light snow should be starting to taper. And by the way, we'll be advancing the clocks one hour this weekend with daylight saving time, and that means we lose an hour of sleep. The good news here in this forecast is the brightening of the sky after starting off partly sunny with the risk for a flurry that moves up east northeast of Lake Ontario. So we turn mostly sunny and good portion of the viewing area. A few clouds mixing in. It's going to be cold all the way through, not even chilly. We'll call cold 18 wind chills, probably in the single digits all day long. Then this evening we will start to fall temperature wise, but notice that wind. It's out of the south southwest and starting to increase a little bit. That keeps us from dropping after we hit 14. In fact, temperatures will go up by morning to near 20 degrees. Skies partly cloudy to mostly cloudy, mostly dry tonight. Shamrock run is Saturday morning here in Syracuse up on Tip Hill. We're expecting temperatures near 20 degrees into the lower 20s. Generally dry. There's no risk for an odd light flurry, but a better chance for periods of light snow to develop during the mid to late afternoon. 30 degrees, our high temperature, 33 on Sunday. Some accumulation Saturday night, especially. Not too much during the day, Sunday. By Sunday evening, it tapers to scattered flurries. Monday, 34 with mainly morning snow showers. We've got a dry day Tuesday. We start to work on those temperatures. Notice later in the seven day forecast, getting more reasonable, more seasonable. In fact, by Wednesday, we should hit 40 degrees with the chance of some snow showers on Wednesday and Thursday. Go to CNYCentral.com for more.